And welcome to your Gold Market Update and Charts of Interest for today, the 1st of February 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Looking across the news, we obviously saw US markets finish higher yesterday again as the Fed are expected to raise rates by 0.25% tonight and earnings continue to come at a good level compared to expectations. Futures are mildly negative at this stage on the back of snap earnings which came in after the bell. There's an inference there that perhaps their low advertising revenue might also impact on the results from companies like Meta, who are reporting after the bell tonight. Asian indices, however, are following that positive US lead. ASX up around 0.4% at this stage. European equity futures are pointing to a higher open, and the VIX looks comfortable below that key 20 level to suggest markets are fairly calm at this stage. US dollar index is holding support over eight-month lows, Gold held 1920 and copper also held potentially important 420 level. Both of these commodities picked up during the American session. All recovered yesterday also and regained some of the previous day's losses. Bitcoin is range bound again, uh, but managing to hold over 22,500. And of course, earnings season continues. We've got a big day today, even bigger day tomorrow. We've got global PMI due across the board today. We've already had good numbers out of Australia and we are expecting numbers out of the Eurozone, the UK and of course the US tonight. We've also got Eurozone CPI this afternoon and as well as the US interest rate decision tonight, we've also got the ADP jobs report, which is worth noting. A couple of charts of interest today. Sunfire continue to be in uptrend. You can see there's a positive candle today, though we are off the highs of the session. Nevertheless, a move over 650 would represent a high, if we just pull the chart back, not seen since March 2022, so almost 12 months. So still looking like a reasonable place to be. In the FX world, if we look at the Aussie US, you can see there we're attempting to hold on to this 7030 level. We did test actually 70 cents overnight, but managed to pull it back towards the end of the session. If we look at the hourly chart, you'll see that really nice bounce there. And we are in a position where we're testing a short term key level at around this sort of 7064 level. A breach through that could push us back up to test 71 and maybe even 7130 in the medium term. Obviously, much of whether this rally is sustainable or not will depend on what happens tonight in the US. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.